this walkthrough of using the retriever tool with the analysis skill kit. The retriever tool is essentially a tool that allows for you to perform search where you input a query and it'll find relevant material to surface back to you. Now, the context that we'll be using for this particular tool today is that of a custom skill where we're generating goals for a particular user. Now, in this instance, let's say the user is a principal product manager. We want to actually first find the KPIs for the principal product manager team in order to determine what their goal should be to help them kind of achieve those KPIs. You can see here we have the prompt where we have a missing context right here. We actually have the KPIs for the team. And now input is going to be a particular user. So how do we find the KPIs for our team? Well, this particular customer has the KPIs actually stored as knowledge articles within the system. So you can see here that we have things such as customer adoption rates and customer satisfaction score, scores, all detailed within this knowledge article. But how do we dynamically return this information into the custom skill? Well, that is where a retriever comes in. We are going to pass in the information for a particular user and then we're going to use that retriever to go out and find KPIs relevant to that user. So to do so, we go to the tool editor, add a tool of type retriever, and click configure tool. Here, we're going to say get KPIs for user. And then you'll be introduced here. So the first thing that we're going to do is input the search query. Now, what we're going to do for this query is we're actually going to get the user's job title. And we're going to say, it's going to be that job title KPIs for 2025 specifically. Now you can search either directly within table if it's just one particular table. You do have to make sure that they're actually indexed, which is why this list might not actually be contain all the tables that you need. Alternatively, and the most common method is actually to use the search profile ba based search space type. Now, what this means is essentially a search profile is where you go in and have a record that holds all the information for a particular search type. Now, an example that I created for this um, specific use case was actually the NASA skill kit search profile. And what this does is it just lets you define, okay, when you're searching to answer these queries, where are you searching? Now, in our particular use case, we just want to search within the knowledge base. So I've added it as a search uh, source here. If you want to add in additional tables, you can click create and link and look through this list of index sources. But again, if you don't see the table in here that you want to search for information within, you will have to go um, and index those sources yourself, of which there are product documentation on a website on how to do that. But for this exact example, we're just going to be searching within the knowledge base for our information. So we don't need to configure this So let's return to our retriever tool and search for the NASC search profile. Now our search sources, we're just going to use this knowledge table. Um, and you might notice that it says keyword hybrid semantic. It may contain any one of these um, as an option. And what this just means is it's the type of search that can be performed on that particular search source table. And we'll go into that in a second here. So the next field is fields returned. So this is what information do you want returned from this particular table? Now for us, all we need the custom skill to have access to is actually 
the text of the table and then also just for good measure we're going to include the number from that particular knowledge article. Limit field dictates how many documents should be returned from that search. So we'll just return two. There should be only one or two um, knowledge articles at most that contain KPIs for the outbound product management team. And then we get to search criteria. Now, what this essentially means is it's how the search should be conducted. So hybrid essentially uses a combination of both keyword and semantic techniques. So it'll get you the best result. Uh, semantic search essentially means that it finds relevant passages from a large amount of unstructured text and it looks to find the meaning in your query and extract that from that text. Keyword search rather uses essentially like word proximity and counts to find the best um, records to return. Now, if we scroll down here, semantic indexes, again, this just means we're trying to look, extract, um, find our query and essentially figure out the meaning of that query and find that within the particular passage. Now, within the knowledge article, we want to search for essentially equivalent meanings within both the body and the title. We have the option to define um, the how the chunking and re-ranking works. Now, what this essentially means is just how are we going to be searching within this? Do we want to search by individual words? Would you rather search upon sentences? Now, in the majority of use cases, you shouldn't have to change any of these values in here. So you can now click on continue. You can truncate the output if you'd like. And then you can also determine if you want to always run this tool or if you only want to run it in under particular conditions, which you can define within the script. After that, you can go ahead and review your tool and click add tool. Now that we have actually added in our tool, let's go to the prompt editor. And then within the KPIs for your team, you can insert inputs, select rag results, and then save the prompt. Now if we run this test upon the user Eliza Orchard, We can see that we have the output from the LLM, but more interestingly, let's click on the ground prompt to see what the response was. And you can see that what was in the curly braces was replaced with the output from that retriever, where if you can see it within the JSON, we actually get that knowledge article returned relating to the principal product manager KPIs, including values such as the customer adoption rate, don't worry too much about it not being particularly easy to read. The LM really does not mind in most scenarios if it's uh, returned in this format. We can also double click on this by clicking on the tools tab and we can see both the request and this is what was sent off to the retriever to help find the information. So we can see here that this was a query that we sent off along with all the options that we selected alongside the response that was actually returned from that particular retriever. And it's a little bit easier to read. Now the combination of both of those resulted in a response of five goals that are based on these provided KPIs. Now we do have additional material that I think is really helpful for just double clicking on these um, retriever and AI search concepts. The first of which being our AI Academy session hosted by Andre and Arvind, where they go into detail about each of those fields and what it means. And we also have a ton of content on community, specifically anything by Andre focused on analysis and AI search. So I do highly recommend you look for those if you want to understand how to get better results how, if you want to understand a little bit more about how the chunking and re-ranking fields actually affect um, the search that's being conducted.
but I do hope this walkthrough was helpful, at least initially, for you. Thank you.